everyone welcome back to my channel i'm going to be reviewing the film bergman island which has been on my watch list my one of my most anticipated films of 2021 and i finally got to see this new film directed by mia hansen love now if you do not know who mia hansen love is she is a Parisian filmmaker, a French filmmaker, who has made some really interesting, great films. She's one of my favourite directors and has been for a while now. So of course I'm so excited to see her do a film that is a sort of, it's an amalgamation of all these different things. It's a, a bit of an obvious homage to the great Ingmar Bergman. It deals with the ideas of filmmaking and the creative process and how that can be different between men and women and this just had so many different things that I never felt that it was too much. Mia Hansen Love is such a great screenwriter, she's such a great director that she was really able to sort of weave these different stories um, as a Vicky Creeps character is trying to create this um, screenplay and we see that there is a bit of this sort of meta what is real what isn't real situation that story within a story was a really effective way of conveying all these different ideas and emotions and it never felt too busy or too much. I loved every single actor in this film. I'm a big fan of Vicky Creep. She's one of my favorite actresses working right now and she was just so brilliant. But I really, really loved the inner inner story with Mia Vashikowska and Anders Danielson Lee who just bring so much energy and passion to their little story and I just loved their moments together. Bergman Island is already one of the best films of the year for me and is definitely going to be one of my favorite Mia Hansen love movies. I would highly highly recommend that you see this film. If you are a big Igmar Bergman fan, you'll probably love this even more. I have seen um, a few of his films. Obviously, we all know the big one, Persona. If you haven't seen any of his films, I would de definitely recommend you start with that film. But yeah, it was just really interesting to see um, the sort of unpacking of what it means to be influenced by the director and how that sort of plays into your own work which is something that I myself have been um, sort of looking at and trying to like think about in my own sort of um, understanding of cinema and the way that I'm influenced by so many amazing modern auteurs and where that influence sort of evolves from. So it's a really, really, really great film and asks so many questions without necessarily giving you all the answers. Definitely, definitely see this film if you're a fan of Ingmar Bergman, a fan of um, international foreign films, if you are interested in Nordic or Swedish culture, it's really interesting to see um, the island itself and so many different aspects to being there. If you're a fan of indie cinema, this is definitely for you. And if you are not familiar with any of her work, I would definitely recommend that you see the film Things to Come or L'Avenir with Isabelle Huppert, who is just incredible, as we all know, and that is one of my favorite films ever. Um, you could also watch Eden, which is this really fun, amazing um, 
slightly heartbreaking story of a bunch of young people living in Paris and it's just a really 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 great film. Definitely dive into the work of Mia Hansen Love and of course uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers. If you join and let me know your thoughts on the film if you have seen it, give me a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!